Uma Thang set up this deal. Eight hours of sleep, all you can eat. Leaders offering quiet encouragement. It might sound like summer camp, but no. It's boot camp, and some veterans say this new version of the U.S. Army's basic training is just too soft. Fox's Dee Brown is live in our Chicago bureau now. Steve? Bridget, ask anyone who's been through boot camp, and chances are they'll be able to tell you the exact name of their drill sergeant, that nasty so-and-so who had apparently endless energy and an ability to scare people practically to death using nothing more than a pair of leather lungs to shout nonstop. That is the old style boot camp. New boot camp is different. For starters, they've toned down the yelling to only when necessary, and that's not very often. If um, you have individual soldiers that are failing to comply uh, for whatever reason, then you have to take them aside and reemphasize to them. And it may mean using a command voice to get their attention. Uh, but we've definitely eliminated uh, most of the yelling. The newfangled Army boot camp also includes at least eight hours sleep, all you can eat at the mess hall, and freedom for recruits to use their cell phones to call home or their sweetheart during that nine-week ordeal. Now, if this strikes you as soft, well, that is what some veterans think. If you take time to ask the question why, when you're given an order, most likely you're dead. But U.S. Army officials insist coaching, mentoring, team building, that's the way to go with today's modern recruit. Part of the changes are because of what the Army says, the new style of recruit that they're getting today. Also part of the changes are sort of the reality of the U.S. military. They've missed targets recently in terms of recruiting, and it's very important that each and every person that goes through boot camp, well, they hang on to as many as possible. Traditionally, they usually wash out or flunk out about 15% of those recruits. Since the changes, only 11%. So the new tactics are having results, say Army officials.